my dear students till fifth point i was discussed in the last slide but in this particular slide i am going to discuss the rest of the points the next point here is strategy optimizes and increases the profit the main aim of the strategy here is to increase the profitability of the business to improve the profitability or to optimize the profitability of the business every businessman supposed to know what their strength and what their weakness at the same time they supposed to know what the strength and weakness of the competitors by knowing all those things a business man can possible to handle the market situations we can business man can possible to control the competitors with the help of good marketing strategy by that business man can possible to optimize or increase the profitability of the business next point here is strategy helps in improving marketing communications the main aim of the strategy here is to collect the market informations every business it is every duty of the businessman here is to analyze the market at the same time understand the market what the customers perception towards the business by knowing all those things they can possible to satisfy the needs of the customers in modern days what the customer says is the ultimate the customer is the king or he will be considered as sovereign it is the duty of the every businessman to know what the customer wants at the same time it is the duty of every businessman to satisfy the needs of the each and every customers this is possible only through collecting the market information through marketing mix through communication mix so we are coming to conclusion here is strategy helps in improving marketing communication strategy leads leads the organization with a single objective so strategy always concentrate on the main objectives for the main objective there will be have to reach the main objective there will be having some supplementary objectives all the supplementary objectives which will complement each other to reach the main objectives so we are coming to conclusion here is the concept of strategy aims at the single objectives single objectives to reach the organizational goal strategy helps in optimize optimum use of resources the main aim of the strategy here is to utilize the available resources in the best possible manner in business mainly we can get three resources men material and machine it is the duty of the every businessman to use the men men means human resource that means employees of the organization those people will be get utilized to the maximum extent with the minimum waste at the same time raw materials if you want to convert raw material into finished goods we need to have a raw material that will be used to the maximum extent maximum extent with the minimum waste by that we can also to reduce the cost of production at the same time to convert raw material into finished goods you supposed to have a machineries those machinery will be utilized for the 100% for the 100% capacity by that we can possible to reach organizational objective at the same time we can possible to reduce the cost of production at the same time we can possible to succeed in the business succeed in the business which contribute for increase in the profitability of the business 10th point strategy can help with the gap analysis main aim of the strategy is to find out 
what is the gap it is the duty of the businessman to find out is there any gap between the customers between the customers or between the business and the distributors or through the suppliers whatever the gap we find that gap will be set right as earliest possible as earliest possible for example you can take nimge jora bantu jora banda kudle immediately you supposed to go to the doctor avaru nimma problem enu anta nodibittu they he will give the medicines by that we can possible to overcome that gap we can possible to overcome that gap agi enu nimma problem anuvanta gap enu anta understand aagilla antidre definitely doctor can't possible to give the medicines to the patients in the same way every businessman it is a duty of the every businessman to find out is there any gap gap elladre ide antadre gap yavadra mukantra aagabodu gap between the customers aagabodu avaga customer madhyadalli yenu gap ide yenu problem ide that should be identified first then immediately that should be get set right gap between the suppliers nimma business nandre nimige thumba jana suppliers irtare raw material nu supply madavaru irtare avara madhyadalli yenadru gap problems gidre that will affect the business anta gap galannu solve madikollabeku gap between the with the government sometime what happens you are running a business there will be there is some gap with the government policies government policy if there is some gap in such a case adannu yen gap antu nodibittu as earliest possible that gap anna set right maadikollabeku so the main aim of the strategy here is to find out the gap to find out the gap that will help you to reach the organizational strategy at the same time organizational goal these are the importances or is also called as advantages of strategy in the coming class i am going to discuss about levels of strategy what are the different levels of strategy in the coming class thank you idralli ತುಂಬಾ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ಕವರ್ ಅಪ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಅದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಓದ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಓದ್ಕೊಂಡು ನನ್ನ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲನೇಷನ್ ತಗೊಂಡು ನಿಮ್ಮದೇ ಆದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ನೀವು ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬರೆಯತಕ್ಕದ್ದು ಈ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ನಾನು ಈ ಪವರ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೀನೋ ಅದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲವನ್ನು ನಿಮ್ಮ ನೋಟ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಬರೆಯಬೇಕು ಅದನ್ನು ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಫುಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಪೀಪಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಟು ದಿ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ 